Yes, YouTube, another weekend means another event, means another gig log. So, and I know what number this is, this is number 20. Uh, so we're at the Clovis Castle today again. Uh, we are doing production, we're not DJing. I'm still in a bad way of health, I've had my operation and stuff, so still in recovery. Uh, it's been less than a week, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna let the guys do all of the muscle and I'll probably do a little bit of lighting, tweaking, and just make sure everything's good and just help the guys out any way I can, really. So, yeah, let's get to the uh, let's get to the site and I'll explain how we're going to do things today. So we're walking on site now. So we're on uh, site number three. Let's do a quick time check. Time is 12.12. 12. I haven't seen the boys since uh, I've been out of surgery, so probably got some uh, some comments to make. There you go. This is suero. What's that? Some Mexican drink, isn't it? I bought it for Randy a while ago when he knew I was hungover. This shit is nasty as fuck. Oh, you gotta be so ungrateful for, man. Suero. Yeah. Remember the Mexicans used to come into the gas station all the time and ask for it? Yeah, this is when you're hungover. You drink this when you're hungover. All right, guys, so basically what we're doing is, uh, screens right here and then we're going to drop a ladder truss on the left a ladder truss on the right and i think that should be it we're not we're doing no overhead structure so we're going to get this firstly in line so i'm going to stand here and tell the guys how much they got to come over to the left or the right where it kind of looks roughly where it needs to be let's get this out of the way so we're coming over now stop uh come over this way a little bit stop yeah that'll do Do you want to explain, Randy, why uh, it's so important to get it in the center in the beginning? He's too shy, just talk. All right, so it's important to get the screens to begin with in the center as much as possible, like even millimeters ma, especially at the beginning, because once you've got extra screens added to the left or added to the right, it's very, very difficult to move all of that slide over this way or that way. So you get it right in the beginning and the ones when you get towards the end is gonna be correct. And we've also got, like I said, the ladder trusses on the left and the right. So it gives us enough room to put those ladder trusses in. So that's why it's very, very important. When we have a few millimeters here, it multiplies over and over again up on the left-hand side. So we're just making some, uh, or Randy's making some final adjustments to make sure that that is 100% where it needs to be. All right, so we got Daniel setting up the facade right there. Super miserable. We Ain't gonna record him too much. Uh, we've, we're getting the ladder truss uh, in position. So our situation is uh, there's Gordo right there putting that one on. So when we lift up the truss, because this is now ready to go up. This is how wide one one layer of the screens is. You never when we go shit. Up, speak, say, just speak your shit. Go on, speak don't it. Say Get when it all we out. We lift because you never lift nothing. When the Mexicans lift, you said better. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. Anyways, before we were rudely interrupted. Uh, so when the uh, laborers <laughs> lift up the uh, the truss, this, we were unable to obviously uh, put the layer of screens in for it to be so low. So these will go higher and then we'll attach the second layer of screens. But in that situation, obviously, this is gonna be way too high for us to get up there and attach. So make life easy. Uh, attach these right now seat them in this position right here and as they go up they're gonna they're gonna move into place where they need to be so that's that so we're gonna hold the screen at that position uh, currently and then just because it's easier for the boys to continue working at that level and get that next section on and then we'll carry on lifting after that. All right, so we've lifted it up, uh, got it to a height where 
they're now sitting where we need to Randy's gonna jump on the ladder behind there and start wiring and uh, we're gonna hang the lights on this now hey guys from a distance that is how we're looking for today and uh, we're gonna start setting up the uh, the sound now as well which will be really quick and easy and uh, we're gonna do what we always do sub in reverse bottom top is gonna be facing forward with the maximum amount of bass out and then um, we're gonna put some speakers on the top of that so that's what we're doing next all right guys so while we got a little bit of quiet still uh, final final touches but this is our final look for today i've already done sound check and eq'd the whole system but uh sparklers are not ours uh, they've been brought in but we've already tested everything and literally bass sounds amazing like literally i'm standing here and like at the end of the dance floor and like it's just thumping through your chest so sounds really really good it's really nice and crisp and clear not painful to the ears uh guest count today we're looking at around 400 420 is what we've been told so uh yeah this is a uh, browning room we're gonna sit right there and then you just got tables and chairs absolutely everywhere uh so yeah uh should be a good event i'm probably not gonna stick around for the whole thing uh just because i gotta get home and take medication and stuff like that sad times but uh and i gotta rest so yeah that is us i'm gonna um do some dmxing uh do the coding and stuff like that uh i will try my best to get some shots of like the party starting but i ain't gonna get like too many shots so uh yeah that's that's where we're at